Okay, so uh, I'm here in Metashape and I've imported my photographs uh, of my rock into my scene. And I've basically got two sets of photographs. I've got one set of photographs that's taken of the top half of the rock. And then I've got another set of photographs, which are the bottom half of the rock, where I've simply taken the rock and turned it over onto its back. Uh, and rephotographed it. Now what I want to do is I want to split those two sets of photographs into two separate chunks. Uh, so if I if I just uh, remove this chunk for the moment, yes. Uh, and so to to create that chunk, the new chunk, I'm just going to right click in the workspace and add a chunk, and it automatically makes chunk two. If I click back on chunk one. And what I've done is I've disabled all the images that are of the second set temporarily. And if I can select all those images, uh, I can now right click on one of those images that I want to move into the second chunk. And I can simply move images into chunk two. Move 36 images, yes. So they now move into the second chunk. So I've now got two chunks and I can come in here, select all these images, right click, and I can enable all those images now. Uh, so if I click back on chunk one, now I'm ready to align my images. So I simply uh, will come up to the workflow and click on align images. Okay, so my alignment has now completed for the first chunk and I've got my, uh, my data, this uh, first set of tie points. Um, and I just want to very quickly clean this up a little bit. So what I tend to do is I press five on the keyboard to go into an orthographic mode, and then I press one on the keyboard to get the front view. And we can see that our object is sort of somewhat awkwardly rotated. So I'm going to come up to the rotate object, you know, make sure that we've got this rotate op option active. And I'm going to try and sort of rotate my object so it sort of makes a little bit more sense. So from the front viewport, that looks kind of okay. Now I can press three on the keyboard to get into the side view. That looks kind of okay. And seven, which is the top view. Uh, that looks sort of sensible. So I'm gonna go back to one now. And now I'm gonna to go to the resize region option. I'm just gonna click on that. And I'm gonna uh, rotate the region to the view I've got like that. And then I'm gonna resize it like so. And I'm, I'm going to just sort of crop down this a little bit. So we've only got uh, as many tie points as we need, like this, seven, yeah, back to one, that looks okay. Uh, now I'm gonna click back on the uh, navigation so we don't accidentally change that region. So we've got our, this is roughly what we wanna make. Now I'm just gonna simply, I can press five on the keyboard to get back into a perspective view and we're going to build the model. So go come up to workflow and build mesh. In fact, we're gonna we'll reduce the quality because we don't need uh, to spend ages doing this. Okay, so MetaShape has uh, finished building my uh, model now. So I'm gonna just press one on my keyboard to get into the front view. Then I'm gonna press five to get rid of perspective. So I've got an orthographic view. And now I've actually, I'm gonna slightly change my mind about how this might rotate, how the object might rotate. Um, so we're gonna edit the rotation a little bit again, and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit like that, I think perhaps. Uh, and we'll see what that looks like in the side by pressing three on the keyboard. Yeah, that's kind of uh, not too bad. And we'll just check what it looks like in the top view. That's okay. So we've got, I'm gonna go back to my front view. And now what, what I actually wanna do right now um, if I click on navigation like that, uh, is I want to chop off the bottom of my model, and I, I want to get rid of all this sort of the the sort of the, the stone that it's sitting on. Uh, so if I come up to here and select the rectangle selection tool, and uh, we're just going to do something like that. Now we could be quite aggressive and, and chop it off uh, up there, but I, I, I'm going to try and preserve as much of the rock as possible. Well is reasonable so maybe about there and we've still got a little bit over there so if i do a control shift i can actually add to that selection like this so i can get rid of that bit uh, and if i go into if i press seven i can see what that looks like from the top that looks okay and press 
three to get to the side view. In fact, I think I can do a control three and it'll give me the other side view as well. Uh, and so it looks, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna press the delete and I'm gonna get rid of the bottom half of that rock like so. Uh, now I'm gonna press one and five to get back to uh, a view, uh, perspective view and click on navigation there. And so we've got half a rock. Now at this point, what I wanna do is I want to mask my photographs by this model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on an image in the photo panel, and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to mask, uh, and we're going to import a mask uh, from model. And replacement is fine. We're gonna do it to all images, and we're gonna do okay. And this should be quite quick, there we are. Now if I come down to here and press show masks, should be able to see what it's done and you can see it's just masked out uh, the model uh, and that's fantastic that's exactly what we want okay so the next phase of the operation is to do exactly the same thing to chunk two so i'm just gonna click on my chunk two images and i need to just immediately i can go up to workflow and uh, we want to align the photographs like that. Okay, so MetaShape has finished building the model for the second chunk here. Uh, and so again, as I did with the first chunk, uh, we need to cut away the the uh, all the extra mesh of the bottom half of our, of our model. So we're left with the top half. Uh, so again, I am going to press five on the keyboard to go into an orthographic mode and press one to get the front view. Uh, and then I'm gonna press on the rectangle selection tool to get my uh, selection tool up like that and press control to add to the selection. So I wanna cut away maybe the bottom half, something like that. Uh, and then that, and I'm gonna press delete to get rid of that. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna press seven on the keyboard to get the top view. And I'm going to further select all that. Might be able to get it all. Yeah, just about. There we are. We'll delete that. So if I press one and then five to get a perspective view, uh, click on the navigation tool. I can see I've now got my top half. And like I did before, um, we want to mask by model. So I'm going to go into my photos. I'm going to right click on one of the photographs. I'm going to go to masks, import masks. Uh, from model, it's, it's remembered the re, uh, the previous settings except for all images. We want to select all images there and then press OK. And again, this should be relatively quick. And there we are. It's generated all the images or all the masks. Okay, so now we've got our two chunks. Uh, it's time to align the chunks. And to do this, we're going to go to the workflow menu and we're just simply going to select align chunks. Uh, because this scene is nice and simple, we've got two chunks and we simply want to, at this point, all we need to do is make sure that apply masks to is set to, uh, in this case, key points will probably be fine. And then we just simply press OK. Okay, so now Metashape has finished uh, aligning the chunks. Uh, and at this point we can click back on chunk one. If we give it a double click, we can see it there. And uh, double click back on chunk two. And we can swap back and forth and we can see that it looks like it's been successful uh, and that our chunks are actually now aligned. So uh, all we need to do now is simply click on workflow again and we can select merge chunks. And we want to make sure that they're both selected and we can click on OK. OK, so now we have our merged chunk, as we can see in the window pane or in the workspace pane up here. Uh, and at this point, we can see we've got all these key points. Uh, we can see that the chunks appear to be aligned. So we're just going to simply uh, go to workflow and we are going to build the mesh. Okay, so now Metashape has finished rebuilding the mesh and we can see we've got a bunch of um, key points uh, that we don't want, but because our mesh 
or at least our photographs are masked like that, our model should be just fine. So there we go. We have a complete model now. Yeah, we've got the, the top and the bottom of the rock uh, and it's successfully aligned. And the, the texture looks pretty, well, at least the vertex color looks pretty decent. Now, it might be worth noting that um, the masks in, in the general workflow, if we go to the workflow and we look at align photos, um, we come down to advanced like here, um, we can see in my settings, the apply masks to is set to key points. And you could also set it to tie points potentially. But if it's set to none, this probably won't work. So if, if you if you find that uh, you, you've got more mesh than you bargained for, you might wanna check the setting and make sure that you've say got key points there. 